Still Life at Landmark Filmhouse Cinemas with the number one producer of the movie To Freedom, Kewe. I can't imagine having an anniversary without Shoma. I am going to the supermarket to get some groceries. So, the movie To Freedom, tell us what did you have in mind when the story was brought to you? There's a conversation around abuse. Everybody needs to have that conversation, if you get what I mean. Um, and the way to work out of abuse. We need, we need to work out of abusive situations. You know, that's what to freedom simply, simply is. How do you feel today to be out for freedom? Oh my gosh, it's taking a lot to actually be here. I'm supposed to be on a film set, but you know, I had to actually support my cousin, Kerry. He's the producer and the producer of this film. And I took permission from my director, so I didn't abscond from my set. I took permission and I came down here. So Freedom, what's your take on the movie? Good film, beautiful story, like everything is excellent for me. It's a good movie to go watch. Well, you know, focusing on what the film is about, which is domestic violence, um, like I had been saying, it's great to have a visual artistic form that is able to display this and show what is going on out there. When you see a beautiful home, beautiful marriage, it's not all that really glitter that is gold. Um, and everything underneath, there's always something going on. And it could be any form of abuse, any form of violence, right? But in this particular one, it's domestic violence. And the title, like it says, freedom, you know? So most of us, we want to be free from something, whether it's from our head, our body, our mind, whatever it is, there's some form of freedom that we're all searching for. So the film will definitely give you that inspiration and that, um, ginger like it had given me. Storyline I totally love. The actor's delivery was magnificent. The director's directing. Ha! That one. I don't know why ICB always ah ICB has something. There's this there's this there's this thing she so but um then the lighting, the the makeup, the costumes, you know everything it, it was um a good teamwork put together and they brought out a very beautiful movie. So I commend everyone who was involved in the movie one way or the other. Everybody brought that A-game, so it's so much for me. So Freedom is such an amazing movie, so different from the norm. And like, I'm a mental health advocate, so this was just the best to do. You know, mental health is a real issue that we frown upon and you guys should really watch To Freedom. Man, I didn't know what to expect, but um, the movie turned out great. I mean, it was a great script, but regardless of how great the script is, when you shoot it, you never really know what will come out on screen. And what we saw today was... I loved it. Oh, I mean, it's an amazing movie, actually. I didn't even see the, the ending coming. I, I mean, it was going well. That ending part, I, I, I didn't quite see it coming. It's a wonderful script, um, wonderful directing, wonderful costuming, and you know it was something different from the ordinary. It's very the costuming. I like everything about it. It's just very different from the ordinary, from the expected, you know. But I really, 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 really enjoyed the movie. Action is good, yeah, but drama is everything. So it's high drama, and it has an amazing twist, an amazing lesson, and it just makes you think, and it's also entertaining. So yeah. I loved it. I'll start with grading it and I'll grade it a, an easy 9 out of 10. It's such a good watch. Production quality, the acting, um, the just the story in general. Like, nah, this was a good movie. This is um, international standard. Yeah, I did see the trailer and that was awesome. It was eye catch it. It was something that will definitely bring you to the cinemas. So we're here for the screening and it was amazing, trust me guys, very amazing. It's a beautiful piece, it's a beautiful story, it's also a feel good movie, the actors were so great. So what's the message you got from them? I think the story actually centered on mental health. When you're in a bad relationship and you're stuck with that very toxic person who is so obsessed and you don't even know how to break out of it, to be honest, I think you should scream loud it as not as in, as much as your voice can carry you to your free because freedom is actually very price red very priceless so i think it's worth fighting for tell us your experience on set no i mean if you look i don't know you could see that i don't know if you could see from the film everybody on that everybody is like was a that like was a family set we worked to ntb severally love her 
Love Betsy Meth Young, Beverly Osu, Sassy Godaro worked with them severally. So it was just working with family. It was a fun set. Everybody was happy. Everybody was just there to do the job, no egos. So it was beautiful to film and I enjoyed every minute of it. Her name is Tiger Fire Rose and she's the writer and co-producer of the movie To Freedom. Yay! Oh my God. What was the experience like on set? I mean co-producing. It was actually amazing because, you know, um, I usually do long-term series, so I usually produce for long-term series and whatnot. So um, producing for a feature film is a different experience, you know, everything is just, you know, it's not long, like that. everything is like, fa 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 and it was, it was actually really great. The cast was amazing, the crew fantastic, like, in fact, I can't, I can't help, them. I can't help everybody enough. It would be like I'm giving boo-boo, but everybody was actually great. So when you saw the story, what did you think about it? I thought this was a good story, slow burn, but it was um, encouraging. It was, it was what I needed and, and more. It had the right blend of education, information and entertainment. So it had this three nice blend and I knew it would do well with brilliant audience. And even the ones who would be like, we know to no book, I knew it would still do well. Do I have a fave? I have like a lot of faves in the film. I really loved Beverly. I love to see her in this role, like a serious role. I really liked it. I also like seeing Daniel in this kind of monstrous role. I like when they use the good guys to do the bad things. I love it. <laughs> I don't particularly have a fave. Daniel is an amazing actor. I've worked with him before on Giddy Up. Osas I've not worked with before, but amazing actress. I actually liked uh, most of the actors and I like uh, A-Team. And Osas, they did a nice job. Hi, beautiful people. I'm with Michael, and we just concluded to freedom. How are you feeling? When you said hi, beautiful people, do you include yourself? Because you do look beautiful. <laughs> hmm? I'm blushing. <laughs> <laughs> What's your take on the movie? Um, uh, you, you will need to free your mind because at one point you think you know where the movie is going, but then there's this pivotal switch in it that you'll be like, eh, what have I been watching? Amazing, amazing. It's a great movie and um, um, it was a suspenseful movie. The suspense was great, we never saw it coming. You know, when we started from the beginning, it looked boring. But when we saw where they were actually driving at, we were thrilled. You know, especially the part that the guy was a bully to the lady, we never expected that. You know, and what he got at the end, it was a great lesson to learn. So it was a great movie in general. My favorite moment is actually the end. I think the end got people to be like, ah, oh, idiot, ah, oh, this, this, you know, on, on the lead character. I think uh, for me, it was what I wanted for. By the way, that was my idea. That last, that last scene, if you watch it, that's my idea. It's my idea. What do you think of the producer of the movie, Karen? Oh, that guy. We need to relocate him to Nollywood. He's a great guy. He's a thoroughbred professional and this movie revealed one additional thing about him that is someone that loves to pay attention to details. Okay, so what do you think about the producer of this movie, Kewe? Yeah, Kewe is a great guy, very enterprising. You know, I like his zeal, I like um, the passion he puts in, and I really commend him. He's, he's, he's doing well. Hi guys, you're watching PBO right now and I'm Tiger Fire Rose, writer and co-producer of To Freedom and I just want to tell you people that please help me and watch the film, it's sweet die, I'm not joking, I'm not, it's really 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 interesting. Hi people, it's your boy Kings Loco Rex, your costume designer, filmmaker, producer. This is Esther Aldo OG Ray. My name is Suka Dibezayon. My name is Nazo Ikeze, I'm a Nollywood actress. Keep watching. Keep watching. PBO TV. Keep watching PBO TV. Hi guys, my name is Carol Grinder and I'm saying keep it locked down to PBO, Premium Box Office.